Good morning, evening, or night. My name is Juan Pablo, and my team comprised of Carlos Emilio Rivera, Luis Lopez, and of course, me. We'll talk to you about what SETI thinks about the economy and its current state in Tijuana. Let's go on. SETI is a private school located in Baja California, Mexico, which gives education from high school to postgraduate. With this survey, our intention is to know about what do SETI students think about the economics that we live in Tijuana. Uh, okay, this is. What's your grade and what grade are you in? Semester? I'm in second semester. Okay, second semester. Uh, do you think there are different classes, social classes in your classroom? Yes. Yes. In, in, in SETIS as gen, general? Yes. Yes. What do you think of, it's the average income on Tijuana? Average income. Average income. Uh, a year. A year. I, you know? No. I don't know, but it's probably not enough. Not enough. Okay. Uh, do you think there's social class discrimination on SETIs? Yes. Yes, you do. Okay. Why? segregates people by their income and their um, financial uh, opportunities. So if that's the kind of people that can get into this school, then I don't see why it wouldn't be a school where those kind of situations happen. Okay, thank you. Hello, good morning. Good morning. What semester are you in? Now, do you think there are different social classes in your classroom? Uh, no. No. What about in cities? Uh, no. Do you think? What do you think the average yearly income is in Tijuana? Uh, I don't know. Like, a month. Uh, no. A year? <laughs> no. Like, like, um, I don't know, 1,500 pesos? Now, do you think there is social class discrimination in cities? What, what? Do you think there is social class discrimination in cities? Yes. Why? Because there is people that, like, only get their, their parents' money, and they're like, wow, this person made sure they back. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You're welcome. You're welcome. Buenísima. So, what results did we get through all these surveys? Well, apart from the ones we applied ourselves, we also sent out a survey so anybody could answer. Now, the first question was what grade the person was in. Now. Overwhelmingly, everybody said second semester, 93.8%. However, there was one person who answered university, 6.3%. Now, this isn't surprising since we applied it, sent it mainly to our classroom, which of course would, would explain the second semester. However, it's interesting we got a university response since we never really made an effort to outreach to us. Now, second question. Do you think there are different social classes in your classroom? Now, the majority of people said yes, and the majority overall uh, responded somewhat uh, affirmatively, as 43.8% answered that yes, there was there were different social classes, while 37% answered that maybe. Only 18% answered that they didn't think there were different social classes in the classroom. This shows that most people are aware that yes, there are different people in the classroom. Now. When we changed that question to a broader sense, what about in CETIs, overwhelmingly we got a positive response. 81.3% answered that yes, there are different social classes. 
12.5% maybe, while a very small percent, 6.3, answered that no, there weren't. This again shows that most people assume there are the construction classes and settlers. Now, when asked what the average yearly income in Tijuana was, there was, well, a lot of fluctuating answers. Now, a good guideline, some said around, it was usually in the six digits. 100,000, 200,000, uh, and the highest was 300,000. Though some per people did answer lowly, like 40,000, 60,000, but in dollars, while some answered more towards the day part, 200 to 250 pesos per day. Now then, when asked if they thought there was social discrimination in CETIs based on class, most answered that maybe, while 37% answered that yes, and 12.5% answered that no. So, most people are at least not, uh, not saying there is no social class discrimination in CETIs. However, not people aren't relatively sure. And when asked why, so mainly the biggest pattern was that people saw it as a joke. People would joke about like poverty and well, street like a joke, of course. And of course, more about some answers lean more towards the judging aspect, how people judge other people because they feel superior to them. So we will divide the questions in categories. First, the first question: What grade are you in? Is an objective question, which you can't like give a subjective opinion since it's what grade are you in. Do you think there are so different social classes in your classroom? Is a completely subjective question since you give your own opinion about this topic, but it can also be a bit objective because there objectively can be or cannot be different social classes. And what around it said this will be in the same category as the previous question, what do you think the average yearly income in Tijuana is would also be similar since the since the person who responds gives a um, subjective opinion about a topic which can have a, an objective answer. And do you think there is social class discrimination in CETIS? This, this is a completely subjective opinion since everyone can have their own definition of what is social class discrimination and to why will be in the same category as the previous one. It is important to know about the economic problems of the world because they are the ones who determine the value of the currency and our economic status since they determine the value of things. We made this survey because we wanted to know what the people in cities think about social discrimination and if they are aware about the levels of social class discrimination in their own school. So, what do we get up out of this? Well. I think it's as clear as my horrid procrastination, since everybody thinks differently about this, and while it's not really something subjective overall, people are still gonna answer subjectively, as their different situations in life and experiences they've lived through are gonna build what they think of this. Frankly, this is something that cannot be objectively quantified by people. However, I am glad we tried, as I believe this has gotten us a deeper understanding of what people think, at least in a broad sense, about the economy. Thank you very much for watching. I pray this reaches you at 10pm.